China triad boss Wang Kuik Khoi blacklisted by U.S. in latest round of anti-corruption sanctions. The United States government has placed sanctions on Wang Kuik Khoi, a notorious gangster and triad boss known as Broken Tooth. Wang is known as a leader of the 14K triad, which the U.S. Treasury described as one of the largest Chinese organized criminal organizations in the world, engaging in drug trafficking. Illegal gambling, racketeering, human trafficking, and a range of other criminal activities. Under the sanctions, any assets held by one in the U.S. will be frozen and American citizens are forbidden from doing business with him. Born in the Portuguese colony of Macau, one rose through the ranks of the triad to become one of the territory's most powerful crime bosses. Waging a bloody war against rival gangs. With bombings, shootings and stabbings a regular occurrence. He was jailed in November 1999 on a host of charges. Shortly before the colony was handed over to China. Upon his release in 2012, Wan, who had always maintained his innocence, sought to reinvent himself, at least publicly, as a legitimate businessman. Reportedly backing ventures in Cambodia and Palau. According to the U.S. Treasury, he also gained membership of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference CPPCC, an advisory body to the ruling Communist Party. In 2018, the Treasury statement said, one established the headquarters of the World Hongman History and Culture Association in Cambodia, also known as Tiandi Hui, or the Heaven and Earth Society. The Hongman is a fraternal organization dating to the mid-1600s, with footholds around the world. In Hong Kong and Macau, it has been closely linked to triad activity, and the U.S. sanctions accuse the 14K of utilizing Broken Tooth's World Hongman History and Culture Association as an effort to legitimize itself. The World Hongman History and Culture Association has managed to co-opt elite figures in Malaysia and Cambodia. This continues a pattern of overseas Chinese actors trying to paper over illegal criminal activities by framing their actions in terms of China's Belt and Road Initiative BRI, the China Dream, or other major initiatives of the CCP, the Treasury Statement said using the acronym for the Chinese Communist Party. The World Hongman History and Culture Association is spreading across Southeast Asia. Establishing a powerful business network involved in the development and launching of cryptocurrencies, real estate, and most recently a security company specialized in protecting BRI investments, the statement added. CNN could not reach the association for comment on the Treasury accusations. One could also not be reached. The sanctions against one are part of a wider effort against worldwide corruption. As part of International Anti Corruption Day, on Wednesday, the U.S. also designated a Liberian lawmaker and one Kyrgyz individual under Executive Order 13818, which targets corruption and serious human rights abuse. The activity ascribed to one by the Treasury Statement, particularly in Cambodia, resembles that of another alleged Chinese crime boss, Xiao Wei. This week, CNN reported that Zhao, one of the world's most notorious narcotics traffickers, was closely linked to a casino development project in Laos, apparently with the imprimatur of the local government. Both Cambodia and Laos are members of the Belt and Road Initiative, a vast trade and infrastructure project that is the signature project of Chinese President Xi Jinping. First announced in 2013, the project promises to build ports roads and railways to create new trade corridors linking China to Asia, Africa and Europe, with tens of billions of dollars in investments and loans. The project has been dogged by criticism, particularly from Western countries, that have accused China of saddling developing countries with debts that they cannot afford to repay. According to the U.S. Treasury, the BRI also has links to organized crime. Chinese enterprises behind the BRI projects have several things in common. Their leadership has links to criminal networks or actors involved in illicit activities in other parts of Southeast Asia. As well as China, they have pre-existing organizations engaged in casinos and cryptocurrencies. They advertise themselves online to be associated with Beijing's BRI and flaunt connections with key Chinese government agencies and all of them have established associations that actively seek to assist Chinese nationals, the statement said. 
CNN has reached out to the Chinese government for comment on the Treasury's assertions regarding BRI projects, as well as blacklisting one personally and the World Hongmen History and Culture Association. The U.S. also sanctioned the Palau China Hung Mun Cultural Association and the Hong Kong-based Dongmei Group, both of which it said were owned or controlled by one Dongmei, which could not be reached for comment, is a key investor in the Saishigang Industrial Zone project. The Treasury statement said, a development linked to armed rebel groups in eastern Myanmar.